Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Stray Path, a card-crawling roguelike inspired by Solitaire. Then I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today. Seems super up my alley, so in we're going to go to see what it's all about. I've already done the tutorial, and it's one of those super text-heavy ones, but the game is relatively straightforward, so I'm just going to go in. I'll explain it myself. Uh, we've got... A couple characters that are not in the demo yet, it seems like. We got Rogue Caddy. Uh, I do believe that the dev's first language is not English, so keep that in mind if there's any weirdness with translations or anything like that. Yeah, just try and keep an open mind. So, Rogue Caddy, we get a mushroom, a knife. I mean, in we go. So, we've got basically a bunch of cards up here. We can interact with them like a typical card crawler in the sense that I am going to be doing this much damage. They're going to be doing this much damage. There is some defense. So, like, over here, you see this guy has two defense. We do three damage. The defense blocks two of it, so we do one damage. Straightforward enough there. Uh, but we also can do another thing, which is drag some of the cards down here. So we can store them for later, as long as they are uh, a draggable card. I believe they have to have this kind of, like, gray bottom here. Or gray. I think they called it gray in the tutorial but I don't, I don't know man uh pick up an item increase your damage by one nothing wrong with that whenever you use an item card the next attack gets a 10 percent crit rate increase your defense by one for every four health lost can we like combine the knives do we want to combine the knives no i know we can upgrade them uh blessed altar ahead i believe this is going to be our exit so we want to be a little bit careful does this go through your armor? It sure do. We have a six health heal. Restore half of your max health. Receive an altar's blessing. Max health two, attack one. I mean, we got a whole bunch of attack already. Uh, there's not like a speed stat or anything, because obviously like, the first thing that comes to my mind with this is probably like a ring of pain. But, you know, ring of pain was not the first card crawler in any way. In fact, a lot of people call that game a deck builder for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, we have 6 to 8 health. I don't know exactly what luck is going to do. Increase enemy drop rate. Ooh. A little bit of defense feels like it could go a really long way. Yeah, only taking 1 damage from these makes that a lot easier to justify. We can explore this whole zone. 30 coins! Oh, coins ahead. So if it says ahead, it's in the tutorial, it said the about the altar, but yeah. Uh, okay, so coins ahead means that the next zone is just going to have a lot of coins or whatever. Uh, attack plus one attribute preserves after you discard this relic. Oh, so we gain an attack up, and then even if we get rid of this relic, we keep that attack up. 1% evade chance per luck. Just a chance to ignore all damage. I mean, seems pretty good. I'll go with Spiked for now. We got, like, a little bit of that tankiness. We do four, and then theoretically... Yeah, we do two damage back. Okay, restore six health. Yes, please. 20% crit rate effect lost after switching stage. Let me turn down some of this music. It's, it's not bad. It's just... What's that? All right. Okay, restore half your max HP. I mean, it's an interesting one. Probably want to heal up. We might as well take the 6 HP right now, though, right? The fact that we can one-shot all these is really nice. Deal 5 damage returns if it kills the target. Okay, so we keep that right here. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, 5 damage is an interesting note. Blessed Altar. I think we'll go for that. Uh, this is where we can actually upgrade some of our relics, I believe. Every other enemy that gets killed, the self-attack goes up. Oh, boy. Let's heal up. So we're going to have to... Ooh. Okay. Here, here's what we do. We get them both low. We boomerang. We take the boomerang back. We boomerang. All right, uh, 1% <laughs> crit rate per luck. We have 10 bucks to reroll if we so choose, but 
I feel like the blue potion is not a bad call because if we seriously get to keep that attack even afterwards, it feels like a big deal. Restore max your health. Receive an altar's blessing. Oh, that's right. These are the altars. We'll get a little bit of defense. We have um, the spike shield business going on. Feels like we can really utilize that. The boomerang seems busted. Deal four damage to all enemies present. Ay, ay, ay. Click to buy this for 36 coins. Uh, increase one defense for every four health loss. I'd, I'd say yes, right? So I guess the question is, what do we want to take with us? If we pop that and we grab this. Blessed altar, coins, runestones. So I think runestones are what we need to upgrade our relics. You can see uh, this is a level one of three knife. We can increase the value on that. Inspire. When present, other enemies gain an attack. Crit rate up. 20% chance to do just do 2x damage. You gotta go, my friend. You gotta go, my friend. We do have the boomerang. We have double boomerang. Whew. Okay, that guy's mm, problem. But since we have enough defense, these guys don't even do any damage to me. Game three runestones. I think we uh we might th throw out a boomerang. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Can we let's just move you out of the way for a sec? That's another thing we can do. Because it's inspired by free cell solitaire, so we actually could just move things around if it's in our way, which I think is really fun. Put in a relic to upgrade. It costs two runestones. Is it what? Is it going to be two defense for every four health loss? Because that seems crazy. That does not save us. Okay, so this attack is... Uh, that's piercing. That's what that means right there. Hmm. I know I don't need to kill this thing. But I just feel like we can grab that stuff and be fine this way. This was actually not explained. <laughs> Found a chest. Let's get the crit rate for this uh, this level. Find a chest. Receive one damage per attack round. Max health it goes up by six, but you receive a damage every attack round. So every time, every time we do an interaction attack with somebody, vanish after you've passed three rooms. So three attack up, but after three room, okay. Potion cards restore more health. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. Poison Vine is interesting, but we don't have, like, a good way to reliably heal ourselves. But, like, having more max HP, that could be really good. We could get to a lot of, like, a lot of defense. I'm leaning towards either spices or, like, just trashing, to be honest. Pursuit, initiate an attack after three attack rounds. Frightened when present, player's defense goes down. Ooh, boy. I'm going to grab this first. Increase one pierce attack for every four attack you have. So one attack for every four attack you have, you get one attack that goes through armor. Yellow potion, though. It's, it's so hard to pass up the... Like, the fact that we could... Because we have a limited amount of slots. These potions are really appealing. But I'll go with the extra piercing. Really, I want to, I want to know what we've got there, but I just, we can't cycle out you. That'd be too <laughs> easy. I do feel like you have to go, because so that's reducing our defense. Initiate an attack after. I mean, I'm scared that that will kill us. So let's just, let's just chill a sec there. God, I hate these guys. The piercing guys. I don't know that we can handle them. Another piercing guy. 
can we re-roll that? We can't. Can we re-roll? Can we can't stack? Can we? What if we could stack up on on like units? Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. That fair, 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 fair. Uh oh. Do I do do I leave? So we do three, we'll actually do five. We'd have to hit you twice, which means that you get to go again. I mean, I have the potion. Let's drink it. We'll see what's up here, because then we can uh, we can see what's behind this guy. There we go. It was worth it. All right. Alter's Blessing, attack, max health. I feel like max health actually might be a good call. Caution, danger ahead. But yeah, max health is actually kind of appealing. Okay, initiating an attack smacks us back to it. Gotcha. But yeah, these guys are a problem for me. Coins are danger. I mean, let's go with the coins. I would imagine that danger probably has a lot of good rewards. Otherwise, what the hell? What's the point? Crit rate up. I do need you gone, but this guy is going to smack me bad. Alter Blessing. Because, yeah, max health gives us both A, more survivability normally, and also we get the chance to play with more natural, <laughs> uh, which could give us more defense there. It feels like it's a, yeah, it's a, a good call. So this guy's got to go soon. We got to crit. Forest exit. But, yeah, uh, and then the other thing is it helps us against those guys in specific. Because, God, they are just... The worst for us, man. Four damage to all enemies presence. 40 gold! Alright, what do we... S Let's see what's behind here. Uh, It's actually fine. You are nothing to me. 30 gold. Do we just... Is it worth it? God, I don't really want to... I kind of want to know what... <laughs> what this does. It actually wasn't in the tutorial. <laughs> You're coming with me. <laughs> I guess I'm out of here. But yeah, health and uh, attack damage is the best thing for those guys. Restore half your max health. We'll take that. And we'll bring this huge potion with me as we enter the ruins. Ooh. Chest first, I guess. Three max health for every duplicate relic. Uh, 40 coins whenever you discard this, whenever you use an item card. I, I think this sounds right. Restore 4 health to one injured enemy after every attack round. I mean, you gotta go. Oh. Oh. That's a problem. That's a big problem. After every attack run, because I would have to crit, basically. Oh, this is this is this is tricky, because if I go for this, I mean, I guess I can get you out of the way eventually. It's just not great. Runestone ahead. That's an exit. Yeah, in a weird turn of events, this is actually the correct call. Because we're too tanky for you to be a problem. You move for a second. Another boomerang. So I, I did crit, didn't I? How do I how do I get crits? Why do I have crit? I don't know. Let's try this out. Oh, you it's you sell it. Not that big of a deal. I think we need to get a little bit more attack, I guess. Pursuit, initiate an attack after three... Oh, boy. 
Uh, but she also can't do damage to me. You dummy. Click to buy 36 coins. When your health is lower than 8, improve your defense by 2. Sure. We've got the potions that we can get rid of, which is going to be useful. I think this guy might just, like, be fine to kill now. So we have that. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. I mean, sure. Restore half your max health. I guess we'll go for that. I have plenty of coins. Plenty of coins. I'll go for rune stones. Yeah, until we uh, get down to lower HP, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay. I'll tell you right now that we're going to want to do that. Ooh. Blessed Altar Head, not yet. And yeah, we want to stay on the low HP. What is this? Upon death, increase all enemies' attack by two. Okay, you're, you're last. Huh. Weird. Four damage to all enemies present. I mean, uh, you know what? I'm just going to take this just because this could be an enemy. 1% crit per luck. I don't really want it. Can I trash that? Oh, cool. Oh, you son of a gun, you. Why would I have done that? That could have I could have just revealed another one of these, you know? Is that a problem? I guess it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Perish. God, he does so much. So we do nine. Is it worth it? Because we could do this and then we boomerang him. Just to assert dominance, I suppose. I'll go for the placid altar. We have the healing. Get you out of the way first. Okay, so yeah, we got a couple scary things here. Uh, increase two max health after every stage pass. Vanish after two increases. I'll grab the cheese and we will replace... Uh, wait. Oh, we have to like actively... That's interesting. After every stage pass. So that's really good. Our altar blessing. Um, health? Defense? Health? I feel like health is actually... Deal damage equal to your attack. I mean, that's actually really nice. I do want that jabroni. Oh, my God. Out of the way. So everybody else, their, their attack has just gone up. We'll probably end up uh, going for him. When health is lower than 8, increase your max health. When you enter a new stage, restore 5. I mean, we obviously have something we can... Oh, I thought we had something we could get rid of still. I might be able to get rid of the spices. Maybe. But we're getting a lot of health that's going to be pretty useful. I could get rid of a knife. Okay, we got a couple easy fools. If there's no piercing on anyone, we're just like, we're just fine. Okay. It's a lot, but we... Ooh, deal damage equals... I mean, honestly, the boomerang is better. Let's do this, though. We could... I guess this is kind of interesting. You can take the relic with me. Okay. Ugh, it's a little greedy. We might as well trash that, I guess, if we're not taking it. 
Let's go for danger ahead. Let's be stupid. What what happens? We we should get plenty of oh. Immediately attack upon being unveiled. That's annoying. You have four piercings, why? Why you are the way you are. Uh-oh. I do not like that man. I do not like that man at all. I have to go for this because if I reveal another one of them, I need to be prepared. Dude. I'm going to get killed because of the on-reveal the men. Okay. Do damage equal to your attack. This pile's almost done. Okay, not another one, please. Blessed altar ahead. Oh! Did not anticipate that. We have to leave. There's just too much. The boomerang went on top of him, and then if I... Okay, all right. I guess I'm out. Lesson learned. Danger is very, is very dangerous. Unsurprising, but also, hey. Leader, self-attack plus three for every en other enemy present. So... Can we, like... Oops, I, actually, I did not mean to do it that way, but I will. Increase your max health by two. Increase your luck. Actually could be pretty useful at this point. Runestone ahead. Let's get our chests. I wish I could upgrade that. I, I wish I could combine them. When your attack is lower than the enemy defense, deal two damage. I actually really like that one. I think we can trash this and keep this one instead. Alter's Blessing. Um. Oh, God. Yeah, our attack is pretty low. There's just so there's so many piercing guys. Attack causes bleed for two attack round. You are annoying. All right, seven. We do nine, so we can at least boomerang this man. Oh boy. The fun thing about the boomerang working in that way. God, I might just need to leave. Oh this oh this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. I don't know exactly what bleed does. I'm gonna assume it's a da a damage, but it might be more. Could be four. I I I have to leave. Which the fact that if you have to leave two zones in a row like that, you know that you know that you've got a problem. Seventeen damage. Two damage equal to your attack. It's not that exciting. Okay, we've covered up that one. That That's something. You do four piercing no matter what, though, is the annoying thing here. Put a relic on here to upgrade. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little tricky here. Because I sort of need to just go for health. Because of all, like, the supreme amount of piercing here. Hmm. Damage could be good because of the arrow and all. I'm leaving that boomerang there because it's covering up the other one of these. Which is quite useful. God, why does everybody do piercing damage? That It really... If I had known that was coming. Yeah, I don't like the option of anything here. Like, this feels trash. But. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's figure out what piercing does, I guess. Or burnt bleeding does. Lose three health. Three.
All right, so. That ain't good. I mean, we're not, we're clearly not killing those at this point. Ruins exit. Uh, is it like, um, tutorial? What? Oh. Is it like Ring of Pain where if I leave, the bleed goes away? Because these specific guys, let's just, I think we have to leave and hope that the next zone doesn't counter my build. Oh. You've reached the end of the playtest. Oh, well, there we go. That That's another way to, to have it work. I really like it. I mean, yeah, it's it's very minimalist. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you can tell. Uh, the complete version will include multiple characters with different playstyles, multiple maps with different features, random events. Hope your next card is a surprise. Permanent upgrades to grow your strength. Oh, beans. Why? It's so tight already. It's so tight. I feel like that just is not, not needed in a game like this. It really just... It feels like it goes against this, the type of strategy that this game employs. Uh, over 100 relics and more item cards, boss fights. I mean, I'm really curious. Uh, so let's go back to the main menu here. Continue. Let's do let's do a new thing real quick. Let's try and go uh, really aggro and see what what that'll do. It feels like it's not going to be that uh, as helpful, you know? Runestones, chest... When your attack is lower than the enemy defense, I'm going to probably try and not go for something like that. I'll try out luck, I guess, here. Bonk, bonk. I mean, it's... It's real risky there. Yeah, it's, it's tough to justify going for, for all those kills like that. I mean, I can't even kill you. I think we just take the potion with us. Blessed Altar. Whenever any... Yeah, so you need to get killed first. Uh, but we're not getting full value out of the potion as it currently stands. Okay, let's get an attack up. Go, f like, full in meme dream attack up. See, yeah, this is... Awkward. So, again, trying to get full value out of the potion. Oh, we, we crit killed. Okay. Uh. Cool. So, there is not speed, but if you would kill an enemy with your attack, it does not uh, get to attack back. Seems to be the, the key thing. That was not explained in the tutorial either, just a, as a heads up. Have to buy that. No, thank you. When you attack an injured enemy, increase your attack by two. Yes. See, yeah, that, that's very helpful. It's good to know. I feel like I don't need this. So, goal. Somehow one-shot every single thing. Holy crap. Crit rate up by 6%. Let's get another fork. So if they are if they are hit, they're gonna be super screwed on the second hit. We can two-shot bop most things. Or even one-shot these fools. Okay. Is it worth this? Probably not. When you use an item card, when you use an item card, 10% to the next crit rate. Two damage up for all throwing knives whenever you attack an enemy. I mean, ideally, I they never have high... I can't imagine they're going to have more defense. I guess we know all the types of enemies in the game. I go for Assassin, I suppose. Uh, when you use an item card, you get the crit rate up. It was not successful. Let's get some coins. We're, we're low on it. Got some more early chests. Deal six damage, restore six health if it kills the target. Sure. 
Hello, old friend. So the boomerang, therefore, using the boomerang to kill stuff barely matters. You would basically just use it if they had um, extremely high defense. Mm, okay. I kind of don't mind the idea of just getting the raw damage up here. Because we, we want to have more opportunity to get the kill on turn one, you know? Runestone ahead. What was behind here? Do we know? Bunch of money. We could, like say whatever on that one. Runestone or altar. We actually do need some runestones. I don't know. I, I'm not sure as sure about this. Oh boy. Crit rate up. We'll just get that going now. Uh, Defense down. So here's the thing. There is no negative defense in this game it looks like, so that's helpful. We do four damage. The next attack would do six. Oh, unless we crit. Unless we crit. Yeah, this is frightening. <laughs> Let's try and uh, clear this out so we can have an empty path. Never mind. I'm saying empty path would be nice. Five, so we can't... Well, actually, we would kill these in one shot now. I think we just have to use the boomerangs, like, in a different way. Which is nice. I like that. Again, just go for the uh, the raw damage upgrade. Try out the, the one-shot bop. We got behind there. So close. That blessed altar, for the love of God. But yeah, no, no defense route seems... Like, not the right call. But look at that, we can one-shot those guys now. That's really nice. Bomb damage cards. More knife. What could possibly go wrong? The fact that literally everything can kill me? This guy needs to go, otherwise he gets a free attack on me. More damage. Ooh. That's so freaking good for us. I can kill, like, I can kill you and then... We'd be in a little bit of trouble there. I, th I think we just leave. We don't have any, um cards or anything. Okay. Even if we crit, man. More damage. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish it had a different border. See, because that's bad. That is a bad thing to do. I really wish we had a it had a different border. Okay. I mean, a crit. Yeah, I was gonna say a crit would do. Because that's the that's the card I thought it was. Okay. Yeah, so it's... <laughs> so that's... So that's a little risky. Being Staying at only eight. I just wanted to know if it was possible, you know? I was going to say, we have the crit chance. Seals coins based on damage dealt. Okay. 
Blessed altar ahead. We don't have anywhere to put any of this. We'd have to... We'd have to go for another one of these jabronis to see what's behind here. I think it's worth it. Uh, 1% crit rate per luck. Not going to be that beneficial for us. Uh, you know, we could chance a crit. I think it's a dumb idea. Almost as dumb as just going only damage, nothing else ever. Oh my god. Unless. <laughs> so three turns and that guy uh, blasts us. Three attack turns. When you attack, deal one damage. To oh, that changes everything. The pierce is really good, but um, the fact that we do one damage to everybody means that we get the, uh, the double fork bonus here. Damage equal to your attack. I can't I can't kill you first. That's huge. That's so good for us. Um I'll grab the cheese at this point. Coins ahead. I mean I do need to just I need to bop one of you. already weak so much damage I want to see what's behind these though okay the heal deal damage equal to your attack oh, why did I even bother going for that guy so rune stones coins blessed I would go for the blessed altar I have that potion. We're going to go up to a whopping 10 HP now. Yes, to the crit rates. What did you what did you think I was going to do? Oh. Lucky. Oh my god. That changes everything. Can it be upgraded? It can be upgraded. Two damage all present, so we really want to keep everything separated out there. So I don't get a kill. It's another enemy. Separates. We, we're looking for an enemy there. So we don't have any room for anything else. I could get rid of the feather. Don't really care. Three health. Actually, that gives us so much health. <laughs> mm, it's not worth a throwing knife, is it? Is it? <laughs> let's get stupid. All right, let's throw. Let's throw. We're at 40 minutes. This is roughly a good time to, to throw. To attack when you attack a full health enemy. Interesting. 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 Okay. This is self attack up for every enemy presence. We want to start the chain reactions. You got to stop. Alter's blessing. Damage up. I mean, this is getting silly. Okay. Found a rare chest. Restore one health per attack round. Eh. Create a random throwing knife card for every six enemies killed. Chest. I mean, these are all good, but I, I want to see what else is here. Increase your attack by one for every enemy killed. Clearing when switching stage. Increase your attack by one for every injured enemy present. Seems very useful. If I were to get rid of something right now, 
I think I'd get rid of the assassin. 10% chance to just kill an enemy when you attack. I mean, we're kind of already in there. That, that could be upgraded to 30%. Also, wait, what? <laughs> I just realized. What's going on there? Hit the blessed altar. Oh my lord. Part of me just wants to grab that just to get rid of it. More damage. 4% chance to... I mean... I don't really care. Summon a sheep when you enter a new stage. I'll admit that I'm curious. But... Bonk. Bonk. I'm so excited that we found the piece that fixes this all up. Hmm. Let's see if we get lucky. Eh? Okay, so we are going to take some bleed. I mean, let's just restore the half max HP. We bring the bomb. The bomb's very, very good for us. What do we get here? Oh, that was the end. That's right. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> I really like this. I, I hope to God there is a mode where there is not the permanent upgrades because the fear with that, because you might look at that and be like, oh, it's innocuous. Why, why would that be a problem? There could very easily be situations where it's balanced around the fact that you cannot complete this unless you have grinded out appropriately. When we had games that were really close and tense there that felt very, very interesting. Like, I, I was... We had two matches, and they all felt very, very tightly balanced to the sense of it was like, it you really couldn't tell which way it was going to go to an extent. Uh, and that's because, of a, that's because of some pretty tight balance. There was where it's like, oh, this feels like it's too much, and then you somehow overcome it anyways. If you have, if you introduce meta progression and you get permanent strength, you have to balance for like 100 permutations of the game, and the way that developers do that is that they just don't, right? Because you can't. And I don't know, if, if they run a permanent progression system and then there's also like five ascension levels or something like that, and you go up with it, sure. Do I like that? No, I think it's... I think it's kind of bad design personally. I know some people like it, uh, but I would prefer that to them just taking this game and then slapping meta progression on it because that was really fun. I really, really liked that, and it felt really tightly balanced. So, hey, I, uh, I'm i really curious to come back and see what they do with that. Uh, I'm really curious to see what other characters could provide because, uh, let's see, they, they have different starting stats, and even just starting with a different thing, like, this was a big deal. This, you know, I liked it. Obviously, I like having the knife. And it, it's not necessarily that the character starts with an extra one damage. You start with the one damage, and if you want, you can upgrade this three times. So it could be plus three damage if you're wanting to go for it. The mushroom definitely changed things up. In it provided a lot more sustainability, survivability. Uh, so there's Rogue Caddy. Anyways, alas, alas, that's that. That's good duty for today for uh, Stray Path. Demo's out now on Steam. I highly recommend it right now. I feel like there's some interesting angles you could go for. And with whatever, like, 100-plus new items that they're going to be adding, I feel like it's only going to get cooler. Anywho, that's that. It's going to do it for today. My name is Retromation. Cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you're into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time.